coming tonight. Thank you for coming to my 16th annual Hanukkah party. Uh, thank you to the Lyceum for hosting us. This is Alexandria's History Museum, and for those of you who haven't been here before, I hope you all take a moment to check out the exhibits on the ground floor, which are open to you uh, until 10 o'clock. So check that out. Uh, I, as you all probably know, I work for the city, so I like to try to show off our city historic sites, and you too can have your party here at the Lyceum. Just go to slash Lyceum, and you can check it out. Uh, thank you, as always, to my girlfriend, Yael. Uh, right yeah. <laughs> Not only for her love and for helping me set up, but also for bringing the delicious cake pops from Big by Yael, Lucy's first cake poppery, located across from the zoo. Uh, so uh, if there are any left, help yourself, and if not, grab the host car and order some because she ships nationwide. <laughs> and, uh, you can also find her at the Old Town and Dollar Farmers Markets here on Saturday morning. Uh, thank you to her father, Rafi who is right back here, who made the Hanukkah choo-choo that we'll talk about again in a minute. And thank you to my father, Gary, who's here for helping me uh, get set up here tonight. Uh, thank you to everybody who brought canned food or non-perishables for our local Alive Food Bank. Uh, we've raised hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food over the years at these parties, so thank you all for bringing those. Thank you for your coats, which will be donated to Goodwill. <laughs> uh, my 16th annual joke. <laughs> um, and uh, I think I think that's it for the housekeeping. So, uh, how many of you have been to one of my haunted parties before? Okay. Okay. And we have some originals too. Rachel and Raph are here from the 2004 party. Uh, 2004. Yeah, they're originals. Um, and so uh, a few months after my Hanukkah party in 2004, my first Hanukkah party, uh, the Washington Nationals played their first game uh, here in D.C. And uh, they say the 15th tries the charm. Uh, we finally won the World Series. Uh, you may have seen that in the news recently. So uh, you know that I like to try to tell the story of Hanukkah differently every year so it doesn't become repetitive for those of you who are regulars. So this year I thought in honor of the Nationals winning the World Series, uh, I would adapt uh, the most famous poem in all of sports, Casey at the Bat, to tell the story of Hanukkah. So uh, here is Judah at the Bat. <laughs> the outlook wasn't brilliant for the Jews in Syria. A new king banned Shabbat and closed the kosher cafeteria. <laughs> and when he tried to force the Jews to worship pagan gods, they vowed to honor their beliefs and resist against all odds. Soldiers went from town to town, their mission full of hate, killing each and every Jew who would not assimilate. Then the old priest Mattathias grabbed the soldier's sword. My sons and I serve only God he courageously roared. His family and their friends fled town and hid in local caves, escaping death as martyrs or awful lives as slaves. So upon that stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat, where there seemed but little chance of winning such mismatched combat. The rebels were outnumbered with no weapons or supplies, but they realized they could exploit the element of surprise. With darkness as a cover, they snuck back into town attacking the king's soldiers and knocking pagan altars down. Then from the rebels' throats and hearts there rose a mournful cry when they heard that their fearless leader, Mattathias, died. His son Judah stood up to lead, brave and lion-hearted, promising to finish what his father started. There was strength in Judah's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Judah's bearing and resolve upon his face. And when the rebels asked how they could win victory, Judah said, if you are for the Lord, then follow me. Relentless as a hammer, Judah pounded out a plan, using guerrilla warfare tactics to go up against the man. With rocks and swords, their only tools, they took on elephants and sabotaged the king's army in strategic defiance. Runs of elephants? <laughs> the Jews were stunned, for they had scored the most unlikely win and they rushed back into town to reclaim their lives again. When they reached the holy temple, their fragile joy soon cracked with pagan idols everywhere and the whole building ransacked. Then the people heard a yell that nearly threw them all off kilter, like the feeling that you get the first time you try to filter. <laughs> the oil, where's the oil? Shouted someone in the camp and they realized they couldn't light their prized eternal lamp. 
Scouts were sent to search the land, riding at full throttle, while the Jews made do with just the oil in one meager bottle. To the wonderment of all, a miracle burned bright, as the lamp illuminated hope for eight long days and nights. The temple was restored to bring to life their liberation, and that's where we get Hanukkah, Hebrew for dedication. With a newly consecrated place to study and to pray, the Jews celebrated freedom as we still do today. We spin the dreidel as its letters tell us how much guilt to share and spell out the joyous message, a great miracle happened there. We eat fruit, foods fried in oil, like sufgani oat and lakis, and we give each other presents, placing boats on little tchotchkes. <laughs> oh, somewhere in this broken world, there are crops of hate and blight. There is persecution somewhere, and somewhere peace meets might. And sometimes we are threatened by those who harm and shout. But we'll prevail if we commit. We won't let our light go out. temple lasting eight days and nights, we light eight candles in our Hanukkah, which is a special Hanukkah menorah, and uh, we light the shamash, or the leader candle first, and we use that to light the other candles. Now this Hanukkah, we have a very special Hanukkah choo-choo made by Gael's father, Rafi, which is also available through Baked by <laughs> uh, And uh, it's pretty cool. I should have done this before I lit it, but it actually is. Yeah. And then I got this really cool space shuttle menorah uh, that I just came across a few days ago. So you all know I'm a space nerd. I thought I was like that too. Um, I have some uh, Hanukkah uh, blessings here. So if anybody, Paul and this you, if anybody would like the words, you're welcome to pass them around. The first blessing, thanks God. Uh, for making us holy through his commandments and committing us to light the Hanukkah lights. And the second blessing, uh, thanks God for performing miracles for our ancestors uh, at this season um, and uh, for us. Uh, we also say on the first night another blessing to thank God for granting us life, sustaining us, and enabling us to reach this season, but we only say that on the first night. So if you know the blessings, please sing along. <coughs> some miracles. I always like to use this opportunity as a reminder that most of what we want out of life are things we can obtain for ourselves. If we try hard enough, if we want them hard enough, if we work together, and if we make it happen. And although miracles do come in awfully handy, uh, if we want peace in our world, peace in our communities, there's a lot we can do to make that ourselves. We've been through a very difficult uh, week in the Jewish community around uh, this part of the world with a rash of anti-Semitic attacks, including one just last night at a Hanukkah party. So the fact that we are all gathered here tonight in public at a Hanukkah party is in and of itself something that we can do to push back. And um, I'm, I'm uh, uh, very grateful that we can all do this together uh, in a free country and in a great community. And let's help that message spread throughout the world. So uh, my toast to you for this Hanukkah is a wonderful new year full of health and happiness for everyone in the world so that we may all live in peace together. Here is Le Shalom to peace and La Chaim to life. La Chaim. As always, we've got a lot of great food left. 
please eat and drink, and at 9 o'clock, please leave. <laughs> Thank you all. Happy Hanukkah.